Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Axe, coming at y'all with a brand new video. And in this video, as you guys saw from the title, we're going to be talking about the 10 cards that every God Squad needs in their lineup. So, as you guys can see, I only have, actually, you can't really see it because you don't know what the list is, but in this lineup that I'm showing you guys right now, there's only three of these cards that I have in here. So, obviously, my God Squad is not looking great. But if you guys think of a really good squad, like down below. And if you guys were looking to improve your squad and this video helped you guys out at all, also leave that like, subscribe if you guys are new, all of that fancy jazz. So, the first card I have on my list, actually, with a lot of this, is going to be this guy like Jabal Allen who comes from here. Now, I know that the big consensus here is now that Tracy McGrady is better than Ray Allen, and it's true. I'm with it, but Ray Allen still, in my opinion, I think it's like the second best um, two guard in the game. He's still really, really, really good. He's just not up to T-Mac level. Um, so he's on the list at 10. I can't show you the stats right now just because we're in game and that's just how it works. Kind of sucks. I know, but it's what has to happen. But Ray Allen still number 10 of cards that I think you guys need in that superb quad squad that you guys are going to be making up in here. The next card that we're going to be seeing is this pink diamond Yao Ming who I still am a little iffy on if I want to grab or not because I really don't want to go below that 2 million MT but he's still a great card. He's 7 foot 6 which is just crazy. 14 all the fame badges. You can see them all right there. Just so cheesy man. Uh, 18 gold badges. You saw one of them being quick draw. He's got house hunter as well. Has a 75 three-point shot at 7-6. Amazing. Uh, 97 post fade. I mean, 97 post hook at 75 post fade. He's just so good. The 94 mid-range is great. 90 standard dunk, 70 driving dunk. He's just so, so, so good. The 95 block, 94 interior. Really good at rebound. He's a 95 offensive, 96 defensive. And again, he's 7-6. He's getting everything that he wants. It's just crazy. Um, 37 speed, 25 speed ball, 30 acceleration. That's the one bad thing about him with the 40 level quickness. He's just slow. You expect it from Yao Ming because he's so tall. But because he is so tall and he has such nice stats, I really have to put him on the list. I don't think a God Squad is really complete without even having Yao on the bench. He's just so good. You, just, you, you gotta have him, man. He's just amazing. Uh, next on my list is a card that I actually own. It's one of the cards that I have on the list and is definitely one that you need if you're having a God Squad. And it's this Diamond Lamar Odom. I've um, heard a lot of people say that sometimes his release sells you its base 11. Uh, and that's just because base 11 is a little iffy of a release. It's sometimes here, sometimes there. But he still has so many other great things that he can do for you. That is amazing. You see, I've played quite the amount of games with him. And it's mostly triple threat, which is why the scoring and all that's a little low. But 7 Hall of Fame badges, space grader, needle threader, corner specials, fancy footwork, pick a popper, contact finisher, and chase on artists. Which are amazing, especially the small forward power forward. 40 really good gold badges. All of them insane. He can play amazing defense. That's kind of why I have him on this list is Lamar Odom is that perfect glue guy for any squad to kind of just come in, fill in any spot that you need. Um, if you are you need more shooting, he's got it. That 88 three-point shot with Coach Boost in 92. You need some defense, yeah, he's got it. We go down here, 84 block, 85 steal, 86 premier defense, 84 interior defense. He's got clamps, he's got rim protector. Like, he can do it. Rebounding, boom, he's got it. He's not too slow, 81 speed. Like, he can just do everything. He's that perfect glue guy. He's like Diamond AK-47 last year if I were to akin him to somebody. He's not as cheesy as AK was last year, but he's still a really, really good card. And that's kind of why I have him at the number 8 spot. At our number 7 spot for the card that you definitely, definitely need to have in here, it's the Diamond Kobe Bryant. Amethyst is okay, but you want this Diamond Kobe Bryant. And the reason I have Diamond Kobe Bryant is he's akin to a lot of other cards that are super cheesy. I don't want to show you T-Mac quite yet. But yeah, we'll compare him to Eddie Jones. But he has six Hall of Fame badges, volume shooter, Tyler's defender, um, difficult shots, off ball pass, defensive leader, which is amazing, and clamps, um, Hall of Fame, which is amazing. One of the best badges in the game. 32 great gold badges um, that really are going to help him out. You know, range extender, quick draw, quick first step, hot zone hunter, all that. That has some silver, has some gold. They definitely I mean, has some silver, has some bronze. They help him out a bit. Uh, and he's just, yeah, he's just a great card. 90 driving layup, 84 post fade. He has that 89 mid range, 94 three point shot. He has a 95 driving dunk, which is amazing. A beautiful animation. So you can speed boost with that 86 ball control. Has a 90 steal and 92 perimeter defense. Um, 90 speed, 85 speed ball, 90 acceleration, and a 90 lateral quickness. And Kobe's just amazing. In what world is Kobe not one of the best cards whenever he comes out with these great ones? And the fact that he has, it's more of a 3 and D Kobe that can also dunk over everybody's toppy. That's just amazing. Like, how can you just not love that? Kobe is just uh, so OP this year. Uh, definitely why he's on the number seven spot. 
I would use him as a backup to kind of the options that we have coming later on, but he's still an amazing card that I think a lot of you guys have to pick up. So coming in at my number six spot, the card that you definitely need to have here, it's one that um, I don't think is as worth grabbing, but if you're having a God Squad with some of the best cards, David Robinson has got to be on that squad. <laughs> David Robinson is absolutely amazing. At seven foot one, uh, 20 Hall of Fame badges, all of them are insane. Um, if I tried to read all of these off, I would run out of breath and I'm just not feeling it. But, you know, quick draw, which definitely helps him out. He's got a bunch of shooting, bunch of inside, bunch of defensive badges that just help him out so much. And bronze clamps at center is just amazing. Like, come on, you, you gotta love it. Has the 90 driving layup, 98 post fade, 96 post hook. He's amazing. 98 mid range, 86 three point shot, 95 standing and driving dunk. Okay, playmaking, 88 block, 80 perimeter defense, 98 interior defense, a 77 steal, amazing rebounding, 84 speed and acceleration. Ah! David Robinson is just amazing, and he's a card that you, you just got to have on a God Squad. I mean, the reason I'm saying he's not worth it is just the amount, the sheer amount of tokens that you need to get to get up here. I'm almost at the um, Galaxy Opal Reward Board. Um, I can get three of these, and I need one more after that. I'm actually just saving up. That way, whenever we get a token market update, I can just snag four new Pink Diamond Reward Cards and give you guys um, some gameplays with those. So that's what I'm doing. But that's just why I think he's not worth it right now. Um, is because of the token grind, but if you can get the token grind, grab David Robinson. He's the best on the Galaxy Opal market. Easy, um, and that's just my personal uh, preference. So finally cracking in to my top five is our first uh, PG of the list, and he is a beautiful, wonderful pink diamond from the Prime series, and it is Derek Rose. That one has a shoe, so I can't show you that one, but here we go. Derek Rose is amazing. <laughs> I think that's it. 13 Hall of Fame badges. All of them are insane. Quick first step is beautiful. Giant Slayer, contact finisher are beautiful. 31 insane gold badges. Pickpocket, pick dodger, clamps, dimer, floor general, fancy footwork, like goddamn range extender even. And quick draw, it's just insane. Derrick Rose with a 98 dropping layup, a 95 mid range, 87 three point shot, a release that I find butter, a 70 standing dunk, 98 driving dunk, the amazing playmaking, the 89 steal, 88 perimeter defense, it's just a glitch. The 99 speed spawn acceleration, he zooms down the court with that Hall of Fame quick first step. If you activate it, you know, with a stop and go and stuff like that, he's just crazy. Um, one of the best cards in the game. There really isn't much else I need to say about him because he's just, he's so good. Like Derrick Rose um, would be the best PG on this list if I didn't have one other in here. Um, affordable, he's the best affordable PG, even though he's only like 60K less than we have at number one PG spot. But still, a card that needs to make it in to a top list. When it comes to point guards, there aren't many that are better than this here, Derek Rose. Next, coming in at number four is a pink diamond center who I had at power forward because I recommend you run him at power forward, and it is Chris Bosch. I did not realize that he was going for so cheap because maybe he will crack into the squad instead of Yao Ming because, oh my god, I want this card. Uh, Chris Bosch, a 6'11 center, which is why I recommend you run him at 4. If you run him at 4, um, and then you have like uh, Joel Embiid or some other really good defensive center at center, it's going to be a fun time for you. But has 10 Hall of Fame badges, all of them do with shooting and one, well actually if you were in the post, shooting in the post, we'll say. Uh, 29 really good gold badges, Intimidator, Worm, you know, Range Extender, Quick Draw, like come on, he's great. I love Chris Bosch, one of the cards that I think um, I might be picking up pretty soon. Um, now that I realize what his price is going for, um, I'm okay with dropping below 2 mil for Chris Bosch. Has a 95 post fade, the 95 mid range, 94 three point shot, also that 95 uh, post hook is beautiful. As a 90 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk, which is just glitchy. Good playmaking, 85 block, a 94 interior defense is just great. Um, good offensive and defensive rebounding, a 75 speed, 60 wall, 75 acceleration, it's amazing. Uh, 69 lateral quickness, and he is the most beautiful, perfect stretch forward that we have in the game. Plus, look at how beautiful the flash pack art is. It just looks amazing. How could you not want this Chris Bosch card? Um, obviously, you can see here there's a bunch of cards that also are on the auction house. They give you. Um, some nice boost with shoes like that one brings him up to a 97 three-point shot has a block and a steel boost as well really cool um, there's some other ones here now you can just get some really really nice boosts on these cards with some free diamond shoes well not really free but some diamond shoes that are definitely 
um, going to help them out, and I think a lot of you guys uh, might be liking them. So check them out, and I think that's going to be nice. So cracking into our top three is someone who's also from this flash pack. He's a diamond, APG. He's glitched. Is Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is an amazing card, and I'm going to be pressed to find one without a shoe boost. Oh, my G. Here we go. So Ben Simmons is a 6'10 point guard that can also play power forward. I know it just sounds too good to be true. Has 11 Hall of Fame badges, floor general, acrobat, quick first step, needle loader, downhill, contact finisher, consistent finisher, trapper, interceptor, dimer, and pickpocket, some of the best in the game. Has 29 insane gold badges like clamps, interceptor, um, break shot is really good, fancy footwork's really good, pro touch is really good, quick draw is really good, like god damn, he is just good. Uh, has a 97 dropping glaive, an 88 post hook, 89 post fade. I said that backwards, but you know, you can see it as well. An 85 mid range, a 65 three point shot, which isn't great, but with a shoe and coach boost, that definitely does make it better. A 90 standing dunk, a 95 driving dunk, amazing playmaking, 80 block, 97 steal, 80, I mean, 90 perimeter defense, an 80 interior defense, 80 in both rebounding's, at 95 speed, 91 speed with ball, 95 acceleration with an 86 lateral quickness at PG being 610 is too overpowered. If it weren't for the 400k price point, that is thrown on this card i definitely would um be just picking him right up real quick because he is just amaz amazing he's such a good card uh he just costs way too much but if you're running on a god squad you want the most perfect god squad you have no limits on how much mt you're going to be having ben simmons is a perfect guy to throw on that list and our last two this one you actually have to do no real spending for but he's part of the set over here that we like to call the kareem abdul jabbar spotlight challenges and you guys definitely know who it is by now. I'm going to the complete wrong spot. It is Giannis Antetokounmpo's Pink Diamond. This card is, in my opinion, the best in the game. But I have him at number two just because I wanted to have a card you could buy on the auction house. And number one, that's really the uh, only uh, reason why. I'm being real. I think Giannis is actually the best card in the game. Uh, easily. He's just at number two just for reasons. <laughs> you know. Tunnel of aim badges. Quick first stat. Fancy forward contact. Finisher. Rentless finisher. I skipped over downhill. Consistent Fisher, Tyler's Defender, Pogo Stick, Off Ball Pest, and Clam Switch is just uh, beautiful. 32 gold badges. You can see them all right there. It also has a cheeky little silver and two cheeky little bronzes all the way down here at the bottom, which is just amazing. He rebounds over everybody. He dunks everybody. He can three hit threes consistently. He's just too good. A 98 driving layup as an 80 post hook, 74 post fadeaway, an 88 mid range shot, 79 three point shot, which is just cheesy. Might throw a three point shoot on him pretty soon if I'm being real. Has an 85 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle with great playmaking. He can speed boost as well, I promise. A 82 block, 92 mid range, not, I mean 92 steal, 92 perimeter defense, 86 interior defense. That 94 defensive rebounding is just too cheesy. 95 speed, 92 ball, 95 acceleration with a 92 lateral quickness at 6 foot 11. It's just cheesy. At power forward, he's amazing. Honestly, I like running um, the Lamar Odom and Giannis duo like this. It's just uh, godly and it's amazing. And last but not least, at our number one spot for a card that you definitely, definitely need in your God Squad right now is Pink Diamond Tracy McGrady. You guys definitely saw this one coming. I packed this card um, some, from some lucky things from my boy, um, I Sell Bro. Um, he is also a streamer as well. He threw me over 50, um, 50 PSN card to open up some packs. So in thanks for that, we're giving him a public video shout out. He had no idea about this. It was not planned at all. But down in the description down below, the first few links are actually going to be his Twitch and Twitter. Go down there. If you guys could do me a favor, follow him on Twitter, follow him on Twitch. Um, he's really trying to get into the game. Um, so I would really appreciate if you guys could do that for me. But <laughs> checking this out, he is a 6'8 shooting or small forward that has 18 Hall of Fame badges. Volume shooter, catch and shoot, tireless shooter, difficult shots, acrobat, slippery off ball, ankle breaker, range extender, green machine, flexible release, dead eye, clutch shooter, clamps, quick for step, showtime, contact venture, consistent venture, poke, go stick, like goddamn. Has 26 amazing gold badges as well. I just love this card so much. He's actually just so amazing and he does everything in the game well. I've definitely played more than five games with him because we did a stream yesterday actually and I think I've played a good 20 to 30 with him so I don't know what's going on. I think it's just when people quit. Um, it ruins it. It doesn't actually give you the real game, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. As a 94 dropping layup, 84 post fadeaway, the 95 mid range, 96 three point shot. So with the coach who is always has a 99 three, a 90 free throw, 97 driving dunk, 
which I think with my coach boost as well is always a 99. A 96 ball handle with the coach boost is always a 99 and great playmaking. A 95 steal, 94 perimeter defense, which was my coach boost and all of that sort of stuff, like defensive leader and all that is always a 99. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, good rebounding at the guard. 96 speed, 95 speed ball, 96 acceleration with a 94 lateral quickness, and it's just amazing. And I think if you guys go through and grab any of these 10 cards, you'll be perfectly set to run yours through. And if you guys are wondering why I didn't do a perfect 13 um, for this, is because what I normally do is you see I have five here and then five here. And these last three in the events, Jerry Stackhouse, Bob Sura, and Bob McAdoo usually are accompanied by bronzes instead of who we have currently, but because I have diamond contracts on them, that's where they make it. If you actually look, I think the only people that don't have diamond contracts in this squad are Magic and Steve Francis, my two PGs, so that may be a uh, switch soon, you never know. But let me know how I did it down in the comment section below, let me know um, what your personal list would be. Like the video down below if you guys did enjoy, if it helped you out at all, subscribe if you guys are new on that road to 3K. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see y'all in the next video.